Baskin, you're our only hand up at the moment for this, this section. So um, there you go. It could be a quick one. You can find yeah, it. Yeah, could be quick. Um, so, oh, yeah, I mean, you speak a lot about positive. You're always very positive. I just wonder how easy it is for you to be positive. A lot of supporters just wanting to get through this season and start again next year. <laughs> how do you keep your motivation going? Well, no lack of motivation. So difficult situation always fired me up rather than, um, I don't know, the other way around. Um, so it's, it's, it's clear to say winning game after game after game is nicer. Absolutely. But um, this is a, a, a different time. This is a different season for us, obviously. Uh, for plenty of reasons, um, and we have to fight through this, and we will do that. There's no no doubt about that. The, and maybe the important message is, even in this moment, we are still Liverpool, and that's what we feel. So you know, we only Liverpool on a day when you win twenty games in a row or whatever, or don't, don't lose home games for us ages. And as well, no, we are still Liverpool, and that's exactly what I know, what I live, what I love, and um, that's how. That was give me gives me the energy. So um, I'm not here for um, the, only for the big celebrations and stuff like this. So I'm here for doing the work. And if it's necessary, the dirty work, the hard work, no problem. So um, it's all fine. Um, I said plenty of times I feel massively responsible, and I am. I am massively responsible for for the situation we are in. On a big part of it, some parts not, but there's no uh, we have no influence on that. And that means now we have to. I have to make good decisions, better decisions if necessary, and, and all these kind of things. And on the pitch, we have to be more clinical. That's clear as well. Um, and we work on that. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Chris. We'll go Dave, Paul, and uh, Dom, and that's it for this section. And if the Sunday guys want to start using the hands up at that point, but Dave got it next for a question. Uh, Jürgen, you say you've, you feel responsible, but you're, you're responsible for creating uh, I think initially the atmosphere in this squad, which has produced so much success. So I just wonder like how you now go about in, in difficult times uh, for, for many different reasons, how you go about sort of um, maintaining that atmosphere and creating it to, to get success between now and the end of the season, because you still have that opportunity to do that you know, as a manager, as a man manager, that is your, one of your great qualities. I just wonder how you, you know, you will go about that. I don't know. So maybe you should ask the players or whatever. It's not how I said. It's a. It's the the atmosphere we have, and I think that we have the atm so atmosphere. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. I don't know. Atmosphere is like we, we a good atmosphere means you come in every morning and, the, and you you enter the the door and the first thing is is a massive joke. So and everybody's laughing like crazy. That's not like it is. An atmosphere is like a trustful um, a atmosphere. Like people trust each other. That we that we um, like each other. That we respect each other. That we do these kind of things. That we create a um, a situation where we where we always find a way for ourselves to 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 become all of us positive again about the next game, optimistic again about the next game. So going the game and yes, that's a massive chance. <clears throat> And that's exactly what we do. And that's what we do together. How I said, so we have to, we will, we will try everything this season. So, but there are so many things we can learn of about people, other people, about some, maybe I, I don't read what you write, so, but maybe about journalism. <laughs> um, we can, we can really learn a lot of things about what we did right, even if the whole world thought it's wrong and what we did wrong even people didn't realize it and these kind of things. And that's all, while we are doing that, we go through this period. But our football life, our, our, um, our career doesn't end after this season. So we, we, what we go through now, we have to solve problems now, immediately. But in the long term, we can, we can get the benefit of what we are going through in a moment. That's clear. And, um, but that's not for the moment. In a moment, it's not, it's not that difficult to create an atmosphere. I don't go... And, 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 and put the finger on my player and players and, and blame them for the situation. I don't do that. So everybody has to, we are all responsible for it. I'm mainly responsible for it. So, but I still, I can get up in the morning and, and can find some, some good things about, about the day and about the things, what we do over the day, about the training sessions, all these things. When I can do that, everybody can do it. So that's it. Again, it's, it's not cool, but um, there are much worse things out there than the situation we are in as a football club. Okay. Uh, Paul and then Dom. Paul first. 
Jürgen, do you, do you think that this sequence of results has indicated that the squad needs to be rebuilt to, in any way? Or do you just think that when players are back fit, a lot of the problem. I would like I, well both probably re, no, rebuild. I don't well, know well, rebuild. What is what is rebuild think, exactly? What does it? I think that's a reference to transfers, right? I know, I know. But rebuild means ten out, ten in, or what do you mean? Uh, well, yeah, no, it's f fair, fair point. Sort of major changes to the to the to the eleven, or or do you see it as <laughs> which eleven? <laughs> yeah, the eleven. Yeah. Uh, yeah, now I know, I know, point. I know what you mean. I know what you mean, but I, I, I don't think it's a time for a massive rebuild. So I, how I understand is like six, seven out, um, like running contracts, but try to get rid of them and and then bring in all the new faces. That this squad didn't have the chance. The squad of this year didn't have the chance to to play together um, one time really. Um, I think it would make sense to to um, to have a look at that as well. But um, on top of that, of course, little readjustments, whatever, um, will happen. So reacting on the situation, but planning in, in, in the same time for the for the um, future and all these kind of things. Yeah, not sure we can do that in the summer, to be honest. But that's what we try. Okay. Dom King, and then we go to the Sunday. Yeah, Ian. <clears throat> if you were to get yourself out of this position and finish fourth by the end of the season, how? How big of an achievement would it be, considering all the hurdles that you've overcome? Big. Yeah, I'm not going to. I'm, I'm obviously not going to compare it to winning trophies or anything like that. But in terms of the hurdles that you've had to overcome and the position that you're in, it would take. It would be a significant thing to do, surely. Yeah, it would. Absolutely. So nothing else to say about it. So you see it yourself. You see the the, the competitors. You see. So it's look, it's not about the 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 the, the possible the, the 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 possible performance. Let me say you know so the game we played against Leicester we lost, we know, but the performance we showed that day that was a game usually one team one team wins. So it's only about what can what can we bring on the pitch still. We played against West Ham, I think they are in front of us as well in the moment. So on that mm. day, but it's all about results. I don't say that's not right. No, the, the table doesn't lie, never. Um, that's completely fine. It's just it, we know that we are um, performance-wise not that far away, but result-wise we are. So and that's what we have to change. And um, for all the different reasons that it was a difficult season so far for us, we, we always tried to sort it. Honestly, we tried with all we have to sort it. And then on while we sort one problem, another problem occur occurs. Yeah, of course. And um, and that's 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 how it is. And then you try to solve that and another. So that's in a season when it's when it's not going perfect, obviously. And that's for sure for us the case. But um, and then means now other other clubs with big potential city we don't have to talk about, but United, Leicester, Chelsea, West Ham, whatever, um, is in and around us and all these kind of things. Tottenham has similar problems, maybe like we have, Arsenal maybe as well. So there's there's a distance to go for us. So we don't have to think about that really. We have to think about Sheffield United. If he can do that, well, then we are maybe a step closer or not. Then Chelsea is coming. <laughs> it's a proper game, and as well. So all these kind of things. That's what. That's what's going on. If he would do it in the end, yeah, that would be big. Okay, thank you very much. This is the final section, which is under embargo now till Saturday, twenty seventh of uh, February, ten thirty p.m. Saturday, twenty seventh of February. Just a reminder that section, which started with Chris, was 